1976, Metropolitan Philip gathered a group of laypeople in the living room of the Archdiocese headquarters. Together, they planted the seeds of an organization that would forever change how we look at philanthropy. This is the Order of St. Ignatius of Antioch. See, Edna Philip uh, had a vision to have a, another organization uh, with the Archdiocese budget in general for special projects. And uh, that's when they, they started the idea of the, the Order of St. Ignatius. The mission of the Order of St. Ignatius of Antioch is really to be the philanthropic arm of the Archdiocese, whether it be through camping scholarships for children, whether it be through funding of the Departments of Missions and Evangelism to help struggling parishes survive and continue their ministry, or whether it's to make sure that our clergy have some kind of financial security in their golden years through our funding of the Retirement Clergy Housing Fund. When I learned that um, the, the clergy retirement was one of the issues, then I knew it was something that I liked. Sayyidina Philip saw that very important to make it as a priority, just as much as mission evangelism. He felt that to secure the priest, to give them something if something happened to them or to their wives, you know, uh, in their ministry. They send me a check once a month, help for my apartment. And it's been very helpful. The order recognized it was not only important to assist retired priests, but also the seminarians who were getting started, many of them already with a young family to support. 20 years ago, married students would have been uh, almost an exception to the rule. Now they are about uh, half, if not a little more than half. Uh, we actually subsidize that housing, uh, so it's affordable for them. But again, it is the order that assists them directly in passing through uh, the seminary, hopefully as debt-free as possible. Adjusting to life here at St. Vladimir's, where you're not working, you're you know in school full time, going to all the services, um, you know it's it's definitely a, a financial stress, uh, especially as a family with young kids. It can pose a lot of challenges, but it's been so great to have the support of the Order of St. Ignatius through um, monthly stipend that we get from the Archdiocese. And, you know, at times like Christmas each year, we get um, an additional sort of little bonus, which is always really, really helpful. The Order of St. Ignatius has also made it a priority to support Orthodox youth, providing much needed scholarships to camps across the country. It wasn't until my twins turned nine years old and attended the Antiochian village that I was really able to witness firsthand what the order does. And that's through the camping programs and the youth programs that the order helps support through the archdiocese. Kids really kind of get ignited. They, like a flame gets lit inside of them when they come to camps because for the first time in their life, they know that they're not alone. And I think when they know they're not alone, it gives them hope. Well, the village allows me to have a closer relationship with Christ because I have such easy access to like priests if I have a problem and the counselors are always here to support. How many kids would not be able to go have a camping experience without the Order of St. Ignatius? Or how many athletes and soil coaches would miss out on the Special Olympics experience at the Antiochian Village? For the athletes, they're just so appreciative of everything that you do, and through them being appreciative and just having that overall joy, the Soyos learn so many lessons. It's just a win-win for both. Without the help of St. Ignatius, I don't think uh, Special Olympics would be possible. These athletes would have nowhere to go in the month of August. And how many new Orthodox missions would survive without the help of the order? Starting a mission is not an easy task, Father John Finley. Uh, immediately came to our support and the Department of Missions and Evangelism, which is supported in good part through the uh, or Order of St. Ignatius, has been crucial to our development. Without the support of the uh, Order of St. Ignatius, we wouldn't be able to do what we do in the Department of Missions and Evangelism. And so, I think it could fairly be said that the Order of St. Ignatius puts me into the mission field to help 
the missions of the church become established and to grow. The order not only gives financial support within the U.S., but also to humanitarian organizations wherever help is needed around the world. IOCC, International Orthodox Christian Charities, has been involved in 80 different countries around the world to aid them and assist them in humanitarian relief. The Order of St. Ignatius always comes through. Uh, anytime we have asked for help, uh, they have been there with their checkbook. Whether it's by a natural disaster or war or famine or whatever the major problem is, like in Ethiopia, where villagers were victims of an ailment that attacked their legs and feet. It was so painful, this man says, it left them unable to work and ostracized from society. <laughs> IOCC health workers diagnosed the problem, provided shoes to protect their feet, soap for proper hygiene, and education to prevent it from happening again. Because of IOCC's help, he says, the villagers were able to return to productive lives, praising God for the help they received. Back home in Wichita, Kansas, Christ the Savior Academy partnered with the Order of St. Ignatius to provide a building block for the foundation of the school. We wrote a grant to the Order and they provided a significant amount of funds for us to have a beautiful playground. And we found out not only is a playground a place for kids to run off steam, but it also was a place for them to learn um, Christian values and the fact of sharing, being kind to each other. It's the foundation that then takes them into Teen Soyo and then takes them into the camping program, OCF, and all these other projects that the order is involved in. I'd say that the biggest benefit is the hope that that small financial contribution gives to tell them you can keep on going. It's going to be okay. And there's somebody that you've never met that loves you and cares about you. And those are the members of the Order of St. Ignatius.